So we're back over to Troy's house. As you guys know, Troy's in the last video when we picked up the VR. He's a really well-known 12 valve VR guy. He also does some welding. We spotted some cracks on the inside of the frame here next to the fender that we're gonna have to pull. And Troy's cool enough where we're gonna stop drill it and then we're gonna do a couple little stitch welds to stop it. It looks like the crack kind of spread all the way through. See if we can get some light. If you guys can see it, you'll see that void. You see that? And it's on both sides. Yeah. Does that give you enough room? I, mean, I can make it work, yeah, no problem. Yeah. Right. Oh, look how far this one, look, Paul, look, get on the camera, look. How far this one traveled all the way down here. That is dirty, that is nasty. Let me do both sides. Why Pass it on to me, man. I'll do it. Down. Cody's getting serious now. Yeah, taking off the taking off the jacket. Getting serious. Wearing a tile shirt that they sent over. It fits, by the way. This is a medium, just to let you guys know. I've been losing weight. Oh yeah, look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll clean it. Whew. So, rule number one: safety glasses. MMS hat and tile t-shirt, definitely, definitely. About as clean as it gets, I think. For a B5 anyway. Not only do I owe Troy Argon, I have to get him now a wire wheel that we used up pretty much grinding out a B5. And I see that? See where it started to pull and separate? It's the seam filler, all the stuff that they put in from the factory. So some little stitch welding in here to keep it, keep it from spreading and opening. You see that side's even worse. Check that side out. Troy, thank you very much. Are you safety glasses for safety? Oh yeah, heck yeah. See, that's the problem. So I was pulling and separating. So we're just doing a couple little stitch welds, a couple little stitch welds to keep it from pulling any farther. What's secret over there? What's that in the back? So we found the cracks, I think, maybe about a month or two ago. And now that the car is running and mobile, Troy does welding here for himself and Fab. So he was kind enough to kind of just fill up these little seams for us, keep them from spreading. Again, little tap welds, little stitch welds, and then we'll fill the rest with seam filler. Uh, but I just didn't want anything spreading apart. Yeah. Down, down. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I didn't have toolboxes since my old house, so I gotta get it all organized. I never had a toolbox ever. 
Slava got me one for Christmas, and that's about it. That's all I got. Never even use it. No, I use it no, all the time. <laughs> it's a great little toolbox. What are you talking shit for? I don't like you no more, Chloe. <laughs> Damn, you're getting talking shit with talking facts. I don't know how that gets in the beam. Oh, shit. Let me steal that. Uh, let me steal that. Put the battery back on, and we'll start it. Putting the R3 battery back in and a S4 was really weird, but it gets the job done. But he didn't like my answer a little bit. What was it? Somebody posted about your icebox. Oh, I saw that. What kind of tank was that? I was like, oh, it's just, you know, there's a pump in the tank right there. He's like, no, I'm in the field pump. I'm like, he didn't specifically state that. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't get the answer of what's obvious. Some people bust my balls, like, what kind of air ride tank is that? I'm like, son of a bitch. on Instagram come check them out thank you so much now the sides won't fall off on us and we won't literally blow the welds on the intake when we go driving around all right guys we're engaging the launch control right now as no, we speak. we're definitely not Thanks again, Troy, for uh, stitch welding that up for me. And now we're gonna head back, go pick up the truck, and go out for lunch. So that's today's episode of Wide Body. Not making much power. Again, we're still in the base file, we're still putting on miles. We put roughly around 300 miles on the car. So we found coolant leaks, uh, pinholes in some hoses. Uh, what other issues? Uh, had to rework the fan situation for the coolant fan. Uh, but so far she's holding pretty steady you know I want to put like another I'd say I want to put like another two three hundred miles in and once we put about maybe five six hundred miles on the car once we know there's no leaks no issues oh I have to replace the speed sensor speed sensor is acting up so uh, I'm gonna order one of those today when I get home for the transmission for the oh we need it's on the left side I'm gonna order one of those and then uh, then we should be ready for the dyno Hopefully that happens on the 5th of January or whenever uh, whenever we can get some dyno time uh, with Turbo Joe so we can get this baby dialed in on 91 and then also we're going to go in for 85. Legitimate and more.
more uh, efficient and that's why the car even on 91 octane even on a base file is running so smooth as opposed to uh, running so rough before you know, there's a lot of things that changed we went from a stock ECU to now running a Haltech 2500 Elite with all the bells and whistles um, you know launch control uh, rolling anti-lag I mean this is all standard stuff for those of you guys that have built cars you've been doing standalone for a while to you it's normal to, to us we've never ran standalone so to have all these options now it's pretty cool um, that aside guys it's just got to put more miles in the setup got to make sure what we can find make yeah. sure if we find any issues Thank you. and then um, then we'll go for the dyno and make some power so wish us luck wish us luck on this little journey that we're doing for miles and we'll see you guys soon for the wide body on the uh, the dyno. And hopefully she makes some good power. Thanks guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.